Okay. Now, as a beginner, you might find it very difficult to pedal the machine. Now, this is the way you start. You don't just start sewing without even knowing how to use a machine. So, look at what he is doing now. And then, as you roll the wheel, your leg is on the pedal. The wheel frees the entire machine and then you can now pedal. As you're pedaling, ideally, you should have a piece of fabric under the foot of your machine to guide you so that you will know whether you're sewing in the right direction or not. Actually, your machine should work, your fabric should work out away from your machine. When you're pedaling and it's working towards you, then you're doing the wrong thing. But once it is working out like it is now, you're on course. That is how you should go on the machine. So you can just continue to do this for a while until you get stabilized doing it. Because you definitely will fumble at the very beginning. It's so easy now that he is doing it because he is already a professional. As a beginner, you definitely will encounter some fumbling. But it's okay. It's expected that you encounter such. We also did when we started. But as you progress, you get better. So I guess this should be more than enough. We'll just run it over again once more so that you don't um, say you didn't see clearly. As it is, we did not tread the machine because if the machine was treaded before this exercise, by the time you are fumbling on the machine, there's a tendency that your tread will break. And when it breaks, you might get frustrated. So it's better you don't tread the machine before you start this exercise. This particularly is for beginners. Now you can see the speed at which he is walking. So I guess if you do this over and over again, I'm sure you're good to go to the next stage of this exercise. Now we're going to tread a sewing machine and I want you to watch carefully how he's going to go about it. He has picked the machine needle in his hand now. He wants to insert the machine needle. So watch where he places the machine needle and the machine needle has its own peculiarities it has a flat end to it and there's a rounded side of it now the flat end is against the place where he's going to fix the needle and then there's a needle clamp there which he will use to hold the needle you can see that now he's going to tread the machine.